Welcome back, friends. We've heard from so many of you how much you love to support locally owned and sourced restaurants in the area. That's right. So we have Andrew here from Upland Brewing and Heather from Fisher Farms to tell us about their partnership that they have going on. Hi, guys. Hi. How's it going? Welcome Thanks to the show. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Shout out to the apron. Grateful Dead. Come nice. on. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. Love that. I try it every day. Got to keep it going. Mm -hmm. yeah. What would you guys bring here today? Oh my gosh. So we have the pig and fig and I'm going to let him describe the food. Okay. Yeah. Because so, it speaks for itself really. So with the pig and fig, so obviously we're using Fisher Farms ground pork that we patty ourselves in house. Okay. And then we make the fig jam that goes on top. So the best way to do it is to do it yourself, right? You know, yeah. You gotta yeah. make it yourself. Uh, we use goat cheese from Indiana and then also arugula on there. So yeah, that looks oh, good. That looks you know, good. it's like sweet, savory. It's, you're yeah. gonna get all those points on that. So, and I mean, the, the pork itself, it speaks for itself. You could eat it without anything else. So, nice. so I'm, an, I'm an IU guy, and I mean, Upland wheat is as Indiana to me as anything else. I love Upland yeah. beer, but the food is fantastic too, and I love this local partnership. Yes. Yes. So if people don't know about Fisher Farms, what separates you guys apart? Well, being an Indiana fan, then you would know that Fisher Farms has worked with Upland for a long time, yeah. well over 10 years. Wow. And so you think Indiana beer, Indiana beef, Fisher Farms, it just makes sense. Sure. And with all the collaborations we've done, we also both work with Indiana University and their Indiana themed beer, so it just makes sense to find it on the menu and seek it out. It. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Now talk about this dish over here. Uh -huh. This is catching my eye. It's a classic steak frites. Mm -hmm. So it's just, you know, our French fries that we uh, have in house, and then we use a Fisher Farms uh, New York strip, Whew. and it has, you know, garnish it with a little garlic butter, and that's it. That's all you need. Yeah, Simple. You need. For a good cut oh, of uh, meat, like, this is something that I get three times a week at our store. Wow, okay. Yeah. So and that's good. like, it's that, I mean, yeah. I don't, I always kind of move around with what I eat, and yeah. that's something that kind of mm, continues. Yeah. It looks so. great. I just grab one of the fries. And how's the fry, Joe? The fry is perfection. Yeah. I know that's going to be good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. This partnership is really cool to hear about yeah. because I, we were just talking to Stacy about this. We love supporting local on yep. the show. And when you have two local companies like this working together, it's like a dream. It's really cool. Yeah. 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 How long yeah. have you guys been doing this? But to, like, look like, like it's well, like she said, well over 10, 10 years. years. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd say close to probably 2006, okay. really. Just oh, working wow. in the beginning, sourcing their beef. Yeah. And with Fisher Farms, you know, you can find more information on their website, of course, and buy it for yourself. But when you go to a restaurant and you find it on the menu, it really shows that partnership and how it stands yeah. out. Now, what kind of brew, uh, what kind of Upland beer would you pair with this? Mm, with yes. what? With, uh, with the, the, um, the fig. Pig and fig. Pig I mean, fig. I really, I mean, Champagne Bell would be great with it. Okay. I mean, it's light it's a pilsner so you're gonna be able to still catch that the pork the flavor yeah and it's gonna cut into that stuff real yeah. well have these been quality control tested you, not yet i think you should try okay. it i think yeah. you should crack it open and farm I mean, it's, 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 cool. Cool. it's we're cool. hearing it's that we're here director so. adam's yes. favorite so okay. i think you need to bust right. yeah. one open we brought some extra too because we, 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 we got to take care of the crew yeah so. All you gotta take care of the crew show. Uh, Heather, you want one? Adam Howard, like, this like is for you. I feel we'd be remiss if we, we didn't. Here we go. <laughs> I have no. the pig and fig in hand. So you, you try, you try the, uh, Am I the good? food. We're going to try the drinks. Yeah. 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 Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I don't know if I've had mm. the champagne. Pill, it's, an old, it's an old one. Mm. Let me get in here. It Champ, it it's an history. interesting beer because yeah. it's, it's an old recipe yeah. from uh, Terre Haute Brewing Company. That's good. So it's pre-prohibition, and we bought this recipe, I want to say, seven years ago. Yeah. And it's just... A classic Pilsner is yeah, going to be good. good with pretty much everything. The beer so. with the million dollar flavor, it yeah. says on the can. So this is this classic yeah. label yeah. and we wanted to keep it. That's an Indiana beer. Mm -hmm. It was along with Budweiser at yeah. one point, it's like great. being one of the top dogs. So. Super right. tasty. Jill, how's that. the uh, pick and pick? It's amazing actually paired with this. First of all, Adam, yeah. I can see why this is your favorite. <laughs> Second of all, the pig and fig is perfection. Super good. Well, yeah. save me the other half of Yeah, it. sounds good, Joe. Uh -huh. yeah. well, and where can people learn more about Fisher Farms? So you can go to fisherfarmsin.com okay. to place your order. You know, you place an order by Monday night. You'll have it to your house on Friday. Wow, that's And so great. you can order for yourself. You can find it locally at places like Goose the Market and Amelia's. Yeah. There's a full list of retail locations that's on the great. website. Awesome. And there's a new uh, Upland location in the uh, key, uh, 86 and out. Allisonville area? Is yeah, that so we, both, we opened yep. that up last year. Okay. So that one's moving right now. It's, yeah. it's got a beautiful patio. It's yeah. big in there. It's cool. a lot of fun. And we're 
opening one up right now in Clay Terrace. That's great. Yeah, congrats. Congratulations. Yeah. 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 I saw growth. that. Yeah. So we're going to be great. on the far north side, Carmel. Okay. Yeah. Um, right there um, where the old Prodigy Burger was. So no, we'll be exactly right there yeah. on that corner. Perfect. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll so. be stopping in. Yeah. yeah. Perfect guys, location. thanks so much for being Thank here. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thanks so for great us. to have you guys here. We've had all the information popping up if you'd like to support both local businesses. Thank you. This is incredible. Thank you guys. Yeah, still to come in today's Smart Money Minute. We're going to get some expert tips for preparing your kids to be financially smart when they're out on their own. Plus, we'll learn three different ways you can use summer produce and some classic dishes from the founder of the Urban Farmers. See Stacy Hyde right after this, friends. Stick around.